All right, Magden Music gave me this guitar so I could demo it for you guys to check it out. And they think that you might like this guitar. So I'm going to talk about it a little bit. We're going to play. We're going to have fun. Nice and easy. Nothing boring. These guys on the internet are so boring. I'm not. <laughs> Bigsby rig here. Whammy bar. Pretty cool. So I don't usually play a hollow body type or semi hollows or anything like the last two videos now I've been messing around with these things, but they sound pretty cool. Um, this Epiphone's a nice guitar um, with this nice, like a, it's got that creamy tone. A lot of, a lot of those mids punching through. Now, I looked into this thing and apparently I, I hear a rumor. Now I didn't check for myself, but I hear this rumor that there's 50 or over 50 feet of cable inside of this guitar, which is pretty incredible uh, considering there's a lot, there's not much space in the guitar. But here's, here's the cool thing about this thing. All right, some of the stuff that I, I think is be really useful for live playing. Um, one thing is you have a volume control for each individual pickup. So, <laughs> You could turn off the volume on this one or turn it down low. Right? And then switch the others. Or the I'm going through like a Fender basement thing, but uh so you get a little bit of push when you switch it over. Alright, this guitar could be treated with a pretty heavy hand. Uh if you're used to doing very subtle things with a guitar, this probably wouldn't work out so well for you. If you like to make big strokes with your dynamics, meaning really soft or really loud by actually playing really soft or really loud, this makes sense for you. Uh, same with the whammy bar. With this Bigsby on here, it's not really going to do so much subtle changes. you got to dip the hell out of that thing to get it to do the subtle stuff. So watch what I mean. If I play soft... It plays nice and soft. Now, when I play a little bit harder on any other guitar, just that little bit harder would kind of drive it to its top end. Now, this doesn't. That's middle. And now... It's all about how loud you play. It's actually playing my proper dynamic. So what I'm doing is actually coming through and just being amplified naturally, which is pretty rare anymore on guitars. So I, I like that. I think that that, that could be really useful once you get used to it. If you're accustomed to doing the shred stuff where you're playing, um, let's see, if, if you're one of those guys who do like the, if you can't pick fast, for instance, and you just do like legato, what happens here, watch, I'll try to do like a, a normal guy legato like that. See how it's kind of maybe a little bit weak or something like that if I don't play my hardest on it. Now if I play with hard legato, it comes out, but for, this is the type of guitar that you gotta be man. You gotta... pick the thing you know 
it's one of those like. <laughs> So anyway, whammy bar, this Bigsby is the same thing. You can't pussyfoot around or you're not going to really get anything. So watch, if I do a really soft vibrato, like if I was using, for instance, my Evanez gem, and it went like this, that would sound like this, right? So just this little bit doesn't really do anything. So you have a lot more dynamic range with easier control. So if you want to be a man and go to get your vibrato, that right another nice thing about this bridge if I bend this note for instance let's do it this way if I if I hit this and bend this my high string is not changing tune so if you're a country you like doing these country bends you could do that on this bridge so it's like having the best of both worlds you get a whammy bar And at the same time, you have stability when you play chords and bend them. Which would be cool for me, because sometimes I like to emulate a slide guitar. I get those. You have this thing up here your three-way selector switch. This picks the neck, this one picks the bridge, this one I believe is just both of them. It is. Now here's the thing. This is your overall volume. That controls everything's output from the guitar. Um, now this one here is gonna control your bridge volume. So when you, when you have that all the way down, it does nothing. So you could be pretty cool with your kill switch if you wanted. If you wanted to do your own little silly kill switch thing, which could sound nice sometimes if you're Tommy Morello or Buckethead or kind of me, actually. I, I like to do that, but I, I used to use a foot pedal and my ankle got really sore. I didn't realize you could do it on a guitar. So next step here is to take this one and turn that one off. Something I would definitely use live for a guitar like this one, or this particular guitar, I would turn down my neck pickup and I would get it clean sounding and then I would turn my bridge one all the way up and then when I came to a, a lead So I would do something like that where I get a little bit of both worlds. Nice and clean. Distorted. Now, as you notice, when you turn these volumes down, you're losing some highs, which I know there's mods to fix that, but uh, this is the way the guitar is, it is what it is. So that you get that creamier tone on this guitar. Plus, don't forget, using this pickup, which is gonna give you more of those low mids. which is kind of nice if you're into that sound. Now, you might like this creamy tone, especially if you're Carlos Santana. All right, now, I have my tone knob all the way off, and I like that sound. I know a lot of people don't, but... Maybe not all, let's put up a little bit. So 
there's some of the tones. Pretty cool. All right, yeah, guys, so this is that Wildcat guitar. I believe it's a limited edition, too. So check this sucker out. Might be the most manly guitar I've ever played, at least recently. Um, you got this cool sparkle. Not very masculine, but here's the thing. If you're going to be a rockabilly daddy and you want to have some sparkle in your shred, this kind of looks cool. If I was going to pick a sparkle color, it might be an orange. I think it looks pretty. So anyway, uh, it matches the gold over here. But you guys want to grab this thing, have some fun with it. Check out the guitar down at Magnum Music. You could either go there, you could call. I'm going to put their contact information down in the description. So if you want to get this exact guitar I'm actually holding right now. You see, I want that guitar Alan was using with that Bigsby that was like a semi or a hollow or something. What the hell is this thing anyway? Some kind of hollow going on, semi hollow, I don't even know. What do I know? The one with 50 feet of cable inside of it. There's no way that's true. Now I'm really curious and it almost makes me want to rip this thing apart. But I am definitely not going to do that tonight. You want to do some... Some masculine guitar playing. Where you're in control of your actual dynamics. And your whammy bar is not a wuss bar where you're barely moving, you gotta really... Then this might be the one for you, but you gotta try it out. You're not gonna know until you try the damn thing. You can't just say, oh yeah, that guitar looks nice, or Alan sounds good on it. I sound good on everything. That's actually not true. Some guitars probably don't, don't work well with me, but um, no, it's, in all honesty, you, you do want to try out the guitar yourself. So go down to the, to the music store, check it out. Thing. Let's go to another sound. Super lead. I like this thing. It's pretty cool. You see, if I wanted to do my blues type of playing, I think I'd have fun on this one. I, I don't know. See, it depends on what you're into personally and, like, I don't know what who, what you are or what you play, you know. Um, if you're into an organic, straight-up blues rock um, and you like to play aggressively but not sound like you're breaking up all the time but have it like a where you're controlling dynamics, I think this would be pretty cool. Again... It's got that thing where you could play a little bit heavy handed on this and it works with you. It, it's, it, you need to play a little bit hard on this thing for the notes to come out. Like if you're playing soft and being a bitch and you're, and you're gonna be like. If you're being one of these modern players who use hybrid picking because they can't pick and you're like. You'd probably hate this guitar, you'd be like. 
How come I can't make the notes come out like Alan? When he plays it, right? So. Let's kill this reverb. What am I in? Led Zeppelin with all that reverb? The hell's all that? It's a cool rock guitar. I like. I keep going like this, like this is my volume. That's only one of them. I'm so used to my own guitars. But uh, this thing is fun. So I suggest you go down, check it out, and uh, see what you think. Maybe, uh, this is a, maybe this is what you've been missing. Maybe you think, oh man, all these guitars I play and you got man hands. Maybe you got these hands. And when you play the guitar, it feels like the, the notes all go out of tune because your hand's so big and strong, and when you go to bend a note, you bend like 15 extra frets, and you're like way over bending, and you can't control it, and you go to vibrato, and it's like, you go just, you barely touch it, and it's like, like that just from you barely touching. This isn't like, the, this you gotta really, this is a working guitar, you gotta work. that beer drinkers and hellraisers they used to do it's like um he did that i think billy gibbons might have been one of the first to do that tapping thing a lot of people rip, ripped him off and they'd probably but nobody knows it they think it's some other guy they get to van halen or something i'm not talking about billy gibbons i'm sorry but i'm saying this guitar gives me that it makes me want to play a little bit of that ZZ Top or something, I don't know why. It's got it. It's got that creamy tone built in. So if you're into that, if you want that warmth uh, in your guitar tone, like if you're more of the jazz side of things, or again, uh, Carlos Santana, Eric Clapton, and you like that warmth, um, this would probably work out pretty nice. There's one thing I didn't try though. One last thing here, let me see. Might sound crazy. Carlos Santana, what is with that? Classic rock guitar sound. You get that? This 
That sounds pretty cool. Let me try. Yeah, this is kind of a... Hope you guys enjoy this quick little demo of this guitar. It's pretty cool. I'm having fun here. This guitar has some Grover tuners. It's got a lot of stickers on the back. Don't know what all those mean. Let me read these things. It says uh, inspected, don't throw out. Who the hell would throw it out? They're not recyclable. So this guitar is handcrafted in China. It's got a bunch of volume knobs. It's got 50 feet of electrical wiring inside of it. That's the rumor anyway. I don't know if that can't be true. You guys tell me if that's true. I don't know about these strings, but they're coming off on my fingers. I don't know what kind of strings these are, but I wouldn't suggest using whatever these. You gotta, I would change up these strings immediately. That's my first step would be the, these strings are getting switched up. I don't wanna have gray fingers like a robot hand. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys, I'm out. This is Alan Vanward, by the way. Uh, subscribe to this channel. I'm going to have more reviews. I'm going to have some cool stuff. Also, I have a music theory series that's extremely fun called Nerd Sessions, where I have a fun, entertaining session every time. And what I do is I show you guys how to play and so how to solo over a chord. And each chord has a lot of opportunities, and I go through every possible option in the world. But we do it in a fun way, and then I give you a backing track, and then you guys play over, you play over the backing track, and you kind of sound awesome, right? And then what happens is you get better at the guitar while having fun. All right, that and ultimatepicking.com is my website to help you get better at picking your right hand, your, or if you're right-handed anyway, your picking, picking hand on guitar, so you can get really quick on the guitar. If you're gonna use a guitar like this, you wanna be able to pick, and you want to be able to sound awesome.